In health news tonight, a small but significant step towards healing the human heart. Scientists in Toronto say they've found the elements to create what they call a master heart cell. In the short term, it means the cells could be used to test new medicines. But it's the long-term possibilities that have researchers really excited. CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau, has the story. This one's beating. This one's beating nicely. This one is as well. Gordon Keller thinks scientists will want to hear about his new Canadian recipe for heart cells. Take embryonic stem cells, add some proteins, a dash of growth factors, and the result, not one, but three kinds of heart cells that even in a lab dish beat away like tiny hearts. I think it's remarkable that 14 days ago these were stem cells. Embryonic stem cells can transform into any human tissue, but directing them to make heart cells has been more challenging. In a study in the journal Nature, the Toronto team reports that they were able to turn stem cells into muscle cells that pump blood, cells that form blood vessels, and the lining of blood vessels. We're telling them in, in, in the best way we can that we want them to go down a certain pathway, and in this case the pathway is towards a functioning heart cell. They can even produce sheets of cells that resemble heart tissue. The goal someday is to use this to repair failing hearts in people. Scientists around the world have been trying to get lab-designed heart cells to repair damaged hearts in animals, but with mixed success. That's why some believe this Canadian finding may help to speed up that research, because they can now make more heart cells of different types quicker. Without question, this, this uh, advance in knowledge will open new doors so that stem cells can be used in the clinic and can be used potentially for treating um, people with heart disease. But the first job for this tissue will be to help scientists test the effects of new drugs to treat heart disease and heart failure. And now, thanks to a recipe for cooking up heart cells in the lab, scientists have an endless supply. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.